forgot to turn on the camera. This Sunday, I'm doing it with two cameras. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Last Sunday, I had all kind of problems. It was corrupted from this camera right here, which is a lot better quality. But just in case, I got a backup today. Mm -hmm. This green tea, by the way. So, how y'all been doing? Hold on one second. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you for blessing us with another Sunday of 2020, Father. For waking us up this morning, God, with a portion of health and strength. Lord, I pray for all of those who are standing right now in the need of a blessing, Lord. I ask you just to touch right now and meet them at their need, Father God. Lord, I thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord. I thank you for providing me with food to receive for the nourishment of my body. Lord, I thank you for the fellowship, Father God. In your son, Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you. Amen, amen. So, yeah, today, y'all, I just got a bacon, cheeseburger, mushroom uh, casserole, and I'll tell y'all how I made it. I didn't show it on camera because I made it a little bit different. I didn't want to be, you know, trying nothing, and it wasn't good or nothing, but I'm going to eat it. And I got some broccoli. You know, I got my boy Frank's on deck. My boy Frank's in the house. But anyway, y'all. So what's been going on? Y'all have to tell y'all. I ain't been on all week except for Monday for the weekly word. Anyway. So in this, y'all, it's got cauliflower and cream cheese as the base. It's like the crust base. Cauliflower, rice, and cream cheese, you make the crust base. Then it's got scrambled. It's got a layer of... Uh, shredded cheese, cheddar cheese, and then it has uh, scrambled ground beef, mushrooms, onions, and garlic on the next layer. Then it has a layer of um, another little uh, layer of uh, cheddar cheese, and I put some um, red pepper flakes in mine too. You might not like it if you don't like the spice. And then you uh, mix up eggs and heavy cream and a little bit more cheese, and you pour that over the top. Kind of like you do with a cheeseburger pie. The only thing I did different, I think, is the cauliflower and cream cheese was added. But it's actually really good. It's very good. I need me some tomatoes and stuff, so I need to go to the store, but I'm not getting out today. It's cold here. Yeah, excuse me, up here. I got my hair pinned up because I washed it. <sighs> oh, that's good. And now I'm just letting some conditioner sit on it. I think that I'm going to have to find some kind of way in my budget to um, start going to get my hair washed because it's getting the longer it gets, the more I get hate dealing with it. Detangling it. And I thought about cutting it all off again. My daughter told me, don't cut it on my mom. Whatever. She ain't going to come over here and do it not one time. So, you know how that go. But y'all kind of want to talk today again about money. And it's a couple of conversations I had that prompted this. My brother was one of the first ones. And he was talking to me about uh, somebody he knows. And he was saying that his wife lost the house. They were in financial crisis and the husband didn't know. Because the wife pays all the bills. He just gave it a check. Well, so he got the 401k loan on his job. And to kind of get them caught up and get them in a better situation. Which he gave the money to the wife yet again. The wife, instead of catching up the mortgage, chose to do something else with the money, right? And so they end up, the house getting foreclosed on. And they lost their home. And, um... So I was like, that was the first story I heard. I 
And then one of my friends said, she um she pays all the bills in her household. Her husband don't really know what's going on. He trusts her with the check. And I'm not saying don't trust your spouse, but, but I want to put that in there now. All right, that's the first thing somebody's going to say. No, I'm not saying that. So recently, I have a friend who's going through getting uh, just in the early stages of divorce. And she shared with me that a few years back, I'm in debt to the IRS, so I mean, I knew what was going on because it was me. It's just me. A few years back, she, um, they were audited by the IRS. Her husband always handled the taxes, she said, and whatever, so she trusted him, you know. And they owe a huge tax debt. She said, she don't even know if they ever get anything back. You know, because he handles that. A portion of what she makes goes into the... account for bills. So, and then come to find out they owe the IRS. And she was saying that she was going to have to figure something out because I was like, well, you got a good job. You'll be able to manage. She said, I don't know. You know, because they, you know how she drives a luxury vehicle and all of that. So, and I guess if you're in that kind of debt with a dual income, I can see how you worry about how your lifestyle may change, you know, should something happen. And I was like, Baffled it, you'll be fine. But I had to kind of take a step back and realize I struggle, you know, but I created, you know, on my own. Because I, of debt I'm in, but. So I can see that if you had a two-income family and you felt like, you know, y'all in all kind of debt. And then you go into your, you know, something for yourself. Or she said her husband always wanted her to drive the nicer cars and this, that, and the third. So that's the kind of lifestyle you get accustomed to. I just remember... When my dad got sick, I remember as a little girl, first of all, I'm going to say this, I remember as a little girl, my dad used to sit, and I do it a lot too, sit and do budget. It seemed like every day he'd be in his budget book. And my dad did a lot of the grocery shopping. And so, I just remember when my dad got sick. Now, my dad handled business. It wasn't like he misused or abused the money. I remember my mom saying she had to learn what to do. She didn't really. He handled all of that. And this is where I'm coming in to say to you. It will behoove you if you are a single person to go over your bills and stuff every month. To write it down. What needs to be done in the event. Because I don't have mine written down. Something should happen. Um, somebody has to step in and take care of your monthly bills or stuff that has to be done immediately. You know, but it's really important if you have a mate or someone you're sharing finances with. You're in a home together. Even if that person is not good with budgeting and don't like it and don't like to do it. They need to understand what's going on in your household and with your finances, period. And that's not to say they have to take away from you, but at least once or twice a month, you all need to sit down and have a come to Jesus meeting about this is where we are. This is where we are financially. This is where the bills are going, whether their eyes go glazed over or not. How say you the responsible person and you take ill, they're going to be at a loss or vice versa. And your house still should go on. And it's not saying you don't need them. Like I said, you don't want to do it and you don't trust them. But you need to know where you are financially, 
where you're going, what you're doing. Okay, baby, at the beginning of the year, we were $10,000 in debt. This is what I want you to see in addition to our living expenses, our bills, taking care of our kids, our family, our home, our groceries. This is where the money goes. This is what comes in. This is what goes out. In addition to that, we've managed to pay down $3,000 of the debt that we were in. And also, I've also set aside what we also have, $2,000 in savings. You know, what are our goals? What do we want? What do we need to do? And like I say, you, you may be the person that takes care of all of that. Or your spouse may be the person that takes care of all of that. But you still need to have a firm understanding of this is really good, y'all. What it is, where the money's going. Is all I'm saying. Make sure you know what it is. So that's enough of my soapbox today. I just thought I would share that because, of course, my mother eventually learned how to do the stuff. But if you've never done that, and y'all would like to say, well, didn't she do it before y'all they got married? She lived at home with her mom. So if you don't do that stuff and then your spouse is the one that takes it on, so please just understand where you are in your, in your finances, in your home. And then if you're abreast of where your balances are, you know, that circumvents maybe you're, you're getting full clothes and you're being surprised and you own the taxes. Know what you're getting back in taxes every year. Know where your taxes is going, what's being spent. So, because I think that real housewife person that's how she ended up going to jail. Teresa Guduccio, because of that. And you can't claim, if you just come and sign in something, you know, that you didn't know. But anyway, that's enough for my soapbox today. What y'all having for dinner, by the way? I didn't even ask y'all. I hope y'all having something good. Show me what you had. That was good. It was a little quick dinner, but it was delicious and filling. And I enjoyed it. Anyway, thank y'all for coming to see me today, for joining me. I didn't tell y'all what happened to me this week. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this in there and I'm going to go. This week, I was broke down. I was so tired. I've never felt this exhausted. I had no energy. I had no energy, y'all. So, what was it? Wednesday night, Thursday, I didn't work. Wednesday night, y'all, I kid y'all not, about 11 something, it felt like somebody had just dumped a ton of bricks on my legs. And I just became just like drug tired. I was so tired. So, I slept. I never sleep through the night. I slept from like 11.15, between 11 and 11.15. I slept until 6.30 that next morning. I normally get up at 5 o'clock. When I got up, y'all, I was so exhausted. It was like, I didn't, I felt off all week, first of all. Then I was like, I was so exhausted. I laid back down. I woke back up around 8.30. Then I said, so I text my manager. I'm like, I can't, I can't even Garner enough energy to do, walk to the shower. I didn't even shower that day. I was just so broke down that day. When I tell y'all, I slept all day long. I never could quite muster up any energy. I finally got myself together around 3 and made got up and made some soup. And I ate some soup. And I still just felt like drug tired. I was so exhausted. And I slept, 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 slept all day. Of course, that ruined my night. I didn't have sleep. But I did go to work Friday. And I still was kind of out of it. And like I said, I was off, off kilter all week. And I, I can't tell you what was wrong. I mean, I wasn't sick or anything. But I just, my, I was just exhausted, tired. 
And so I'm back, kind of getting myself back around. I've been at home all weekend. I did go get some medication. I picked up a prescription yesterday and went into all this and got a couple of items. But that was all I did this weekend. Other than that, I've been in this house. I've done the bare minimal in, in um, household stuff. I washed a load of clothes and uh, cleaned out the toilet. I didn't even clean the whole bathroom. I cleaned, Well, I just got through cleaning out the sink. You know, I just got up. I feel pretty good today, so I washed my hair. And I, uh, like I got the conditioner sitting on it now, and it's pent up in the back. So I got to go rinse this stuff out. And, um. Uh, wash these few little dishes and put up the food but i'm not gonna meal. i didn't meal prep today i'm not, I'm not gonna overexert myself but the casserole and it's some the casserole is about one of them about this size you know one of them little not the big dish but the smaller like a smaller rectangle like this so i can eat that for lunch tomorrow and i'll come and make some tuna fish or something but didn't meal prep don't plan on meal prep and don't plan on plan on doing the bare minimum and trying to get myself back up so i can hopefully be in the better like i said i feel a whole lot better i got a lot more energy today but it's still not like boom 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 but anyway so that's what went on with me today but i missed y'all i really did and i hope y'all had a great week but i plan to see y'all next week for the weekly word of course and another meal in the chat sometime or another anyway i want y'all to know you're loved i love you but god truly loves you the most remember to always be kind to yourself and others be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all much. Bye.